Yo, 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 Chicago Bulls fans. Look, we know that the season right around the corner. We just gave y'all the expectation for Zach Levine. But now we got to get him to the person who we feel like going to be the third wheel. Or at least a wide ain't going to be the third wheel. Patrick Williams. His expectations going into this training camp and a regular season. But y'all know y'all got to hear that music first. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. Bull podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm with my dog. See, Doug, how you doing, boy? I'm feeling good, man. Are we talking about one of my favorite players right here? You feel me? So, hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're going into Patrick Williams today. We're going to give him, we're going to go into the role he needs to have. We're going to talk about the offense, what we're going to do with that, the defense, and what's the season expectation and what will make this season in the NBA 2022-2023 successful for Patrick Williams. I'm going to kick this off. (laughs) You feel me? First thing first. Goddamn. The role that Patrick Williams needs to have. He needs to be a headbanger. Headbanger. My thing is, let me break it down for y'all. I'm very subliminal. I throw tricks and things in there, so I'm going to break y'all off what I mean by a goddamn headbanger. Don't you know when you be drinking and you just be drinking, you drink your drink, right? And then you switch up. So say if we stick with the, the cognac. <laughs> and the moment you switch up to some tequila, you want to hang out with your, you know, your other peeps that you ain't hung out with a while. They want to drink some tequila, some, uh, some Tito's or something like that. And you wake up with that hair banger. That's the type of role Patrick Williams needs to have. What I mean, let me break it down a little further. First thing first, we know what the constant drink going to be. Damar and Zach. Okay. When it's his time to step up, my boy need to go ahead and insert that goddamn Tito's or that tequila. And put <laughs> somebody against their goddamn head. So and then you wake up with that head banger in the morning. Get some Tylenol, ibuprofen, little whatever the little shit come in the box <laughs> in at the grocery store. Can't think of the name, but hey, if you know, hit it in the comments below. Now we move on to offense, goddamn. My boy need Ooh. to be the slot machine. Oh, I like what that. I mean by this. As many times you crank that motherfucker, you know every time ain't gonna be no win. But you know, it's one lucky mother pull up in there. That lucky pull when it when things oh, get did. hard, and when they double team in tomorrow, or Zach Levine ain't got it going. My boy need to hit all sevens across the across the you know the school. <laughs> they don't do the old school; they do it all electronic. So sevens all across the screen. Go crazy. My boy need to have that, that, that slot machine mentality. Where for him, we already talked about it, C-Dub. It got to be a defining role for him with that second that second unit. And I believe the man can facilitate. I seen the handle. I seen the <laughs> step back. <laughs> Billy Donovan. Kobe White ain't that guy to be facilitating your offense. No, but nonetheless. My boy need to be a slot machine. We on to the defense, goddamn. He needs to be annoying. Hey. He need to be. He need to be that annoying ass sibling that you had growing up. As the I'm the I'm the older sibling. My little sister Anna, she got on my damn nerves. That's, that's, I love my sister though. We cool now, but that's Shout out Cookie. Up, but growing up, we got on each other nerves. She was annoying as hell to me, but I love the fuck out my sister now. So y'all love y'all sister, but back on to the topic. My boy need to be annoying as hell. Why? Because every time somebody think they finna drive, he need to be right there. Uh-huh, give me that. <laughs> oh, y'all think y'all finna lay up? Uh-huh, give me that. Oh, Ain't none of that. Be annoying on the defensive end. And lastly, the season expectation for Patrick Williams, if he, if he can define all three stages of his role, mm. he need to be the third wheel, goddamn. Hey. He need to be one of them three wheelers, goddamn. Don't y'all know how good a spider look rolling down on the road on a summer day? How many wheels that bitch got? I don't know. Maybe four, but it looked like three. Goddamn, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. 
But that third wheel needs to matter. We ain't talking about that annoying ass third wheel when you go out with his home with your homeboy and his girl. We ain't talking about that. That shit annoying. <laughs> about the good third wheel, we can go with you, your sister, and your cousins. You know what I'm saying? And then you and your cousin, they ain't related, but they affiliated, goddamn. So do what you do. So be done. That's my stuff, man. Hey. Let you go next. Hey, shout out to my nephew. He a damn fool. But you know what time it is. You know who it is. You know who this belongs to. It's C Dub Tap. Nephew, bring up my nephew! <laughs> 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 we gonna start with his role Secret weapon Patrick Williams Is a great talent A great physique A great set of skills That he have defensively and offensively But people Never pe really pay him Pay him that much attention right. Because he's so passive He doesn't use his powers I know a great person said He, he wears spandex Red and blue with a spider on his chest with great power would come uh, <laughs> with great power comes with <laughs> great responsibility. It's time to use that responsibility, baby. I need you to be the secret weapon. And man, go on to my next one, man. Offense. Incredible Hulk. What you this mean by that though? Look, this is what I want him to do. I want Pat Williams to invoke fear in all defenders that stay that stand in his way. Patrick Williams is what? 230, 240, 6869. All solid muscle. He should dominate every person that's standing in front of him. He is this generation's power force, how they built this. this this generation of basketball true enough true enough and i think he is one of the strongest nba players in the nba now if he uses that strength with great power comes great responsibility it will hey, help yo. it will help this team be best it could on to the next one defense anchor now, I don't know y'all thinking. I, I see nephew. I see nephew. He like thinking like anchor. We ain't on no fucking boat. What are you talking about? Some fucking anchor. How's he gonna be yeah. the anchor? He ain't yeah. no fuck. He ain't no damn center. How he gonna be the anchor? Well, Nick Vooch ain't really that great on defense. It does. It really ain't set in stone that your center gotta be your anchor on defense. Thanks. I think. Uh, what's this guy? Go to state. Uh, Draymond Green's the anchor on defense in Golden State. He ain't no damn center. Patrick Williams can be the anchor of this defense, guarding that basket. Um, calling out the, the defensive schemes from the back door, back there in the paint. Patrick Williams could be the anchor of this defense for the Chicago Bulls. I ain't trying to disrespect Nick Vooch, but you is what you is, big dog. You got, <laughs> you got, you got a hard time moving on feet. I hate to Bro. see you go to a party in Chicago where all we do is footwork. <laughs> and you gonna be holding that wall up. That's what you gonna be doing. <laughs> this ain't a roasting session for Nick Vooch. On to the chart, nephew! <laughs> Season expectations. I'm gonna go with Hatch. Now, my nephew got kids. I got kids. You know it's that time. Well, you know, you used to baby your kids. They do something wrong. It's okay. You just can't do that. But it comes a point in time. Grow your little ass up, boy. You'll be doing that shit no more. You know not to do that. You grown enough. Pat Williams. No more hesitating. No more um, giving the ball to Zach and, and Damar. And I ain't saying don't pass it to him, but... Don't just look to them all the time. It's time for you to be aggressive. It's time for you to come up off your shell. It's time to let that chicken fly. I believe in you. Nephew said you could be the third wheel with Nick Vooch on the team. It's time for you to use all the skill and talent you got and show this league and show this world that you ain't no bona fide uh, sitting in a corner, catch and shoot three. I think you better than that.
Okay. You can attack. You can also shoot the ball. And you can play defense spectacularly. They call you the ball. I think you're similar to Kawhi Leonard. It's time to get out there, egg, young fella. Let's do it, Patty. For real. In other words, Unc just called you a little chicklet. <laughs> <laughs> little pollo. El Puyo Loco. Um, bro, he just popped your ass. El Puyo Loco. <laughs> fly, Pelican, fly. What are you oh, talking about? <laughs> but, man, I mean, but I got one question before we go ahead and wrap this thing up. And Billy, it's hard to, to envision what Billy Donovan be thinking sometimes. It is. Do you think Billy Donovan will come to his senses and be like, yo, that needs to be my third guy? Because, you know, in my mind, I feel like he he trusts Vooch. Rightfully so, a vet, all-star, did a few things, you know, had longevity in his career. But do you think Billy Donovan is going to come to his senses and be like, hey, Vooch, we need you to be the fourth, the fourth option now and not the third? Oh, man, I don't think he even has to do that, per se. I'm in the one, I'm probably by myself right here, but I don't go by no first. Okay, I do go by first option. You do need your leader, the guy you look to in the last two minutes of the game. And I want that to be Zach. Let me say that again. I want that to be Zach. But in a real NBA team, everybody should be able to eat and do what they do best. It shouldn't be this second and third and fourth option. If okay. that's your game, play your game. I believe Vooch, uh, he can get his touches. So, he can get his 15 shots. I believe Pat can get 10 to 15 shots. It should, it should be no problem. I don't think we got selfish players on this team. Damar is a shooter, so he's going to shoot the ball. He's okay, not selfish. So, he's a shooter. All right, so basically, just to wrap that up, you basically saying that this should be all depending on what the game is looking like. That's it. Everybody should have a role depending on what the game is looking like. The game plan should be surrounded about what team you're going against and the adjustments should be made on how the game is being played put against that particular team is what you said. Yeah, kind of sort. Good, that's a good point, though, because I, I honestly like that point more than the point that I did. Look at Aunt John, I teach nephew. Nephew! <laughs> oh, no. Look, look, bro. <laughs> Look, bro. If you good, you good. It ain't you ain't gotta uh, downplay your game. Uh, you ain't gotta drop ten points in your game. I, I see, I see, I see. Vooch, you know he went from twenty four to seventeen, but he getting less touches. He right. getting less touches, but he still scoring seventeen with the touches he get. Right. It's up to you, mate. You know what I'm saying? You gotta share. You want to be good? You gotta share the basketball. That That's makes it. sense, man. That make a lot of sense because it definitely. It definitely make a lot of sense that these guys definitely need to just work within each other and go within the, the flow of the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so specifically for Patrick Williams, if you got the shot or if your guys ain't got it going, step up and take control. So I that's why I, that's why I love Lonzo Ball because he usually, you know, he'll never go to one person like three times in a row. Like he'll he'll keep that shit spread. He had hit Demar, you know, two times. Demar might hit one of one out of two shots. He going to he going to Vooch next. Vooch missed a shot. He going to Zach match. He was a perfect leader on the basketball court. That's why I'm eager to see Ayo and how he uses his point guard position. I'm I'm eager to see it. Makes a lot of sense. I'm eager with it too, man. Final thoughts for the peak. Final thoughts, my man Pat Williams. I can see it. I can see in the future. Most improved player might be on horizon for Pat Williams. He got all the skill. He got the size. He got the athleticism. Now it's up to him to hatch up out that egg. We, we don't even like eggs over here. Get to messing up the whole kitchen, you know, letting it loose. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we don't eat eggs like that. <laughs> yeah, you know what what? Hey, you Hispanic folk. Tell that boy about them eggs with the chorizo in there. Oh, he snap it. <laughs> but hey y'all go ahead comment below man what do y'all think how y'all think this season gonna go for patrick williams is it the defining season do y'all think my man's gonna live up to the expectations or do y'all think he's gonna come out and be that third wheel that i'm saying 
y'all go ahead and let us know. Y'all be creative with the shit too, man. Put something in now, you know. Drop your role, drop your offense, drop your defense, drop your season expectations. Be creative, interact with us, because y'all know we gonna be right there commenting. But hey, we appreciate y'all. If y'all new to the channel, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, I'll continue to support us. We really, really appreciate y'all. And we right. definitely gonna keep coming before the season starts. Was right around the corner, goddamn. Oh, bro. Already a couple, know. like two weeks. Oh, bro. We're gonna yeah. catch y'all on that next one. Shout out to Risa. Oh, bro. Shout out to Risa. Y'all better stop playing with her. Oh, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.